Hey everyone, how's it going? Anthony Mutraji here, back with a new video lesson for you all. Before I go to the actual lesson, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, or if this is your first time, or if you've just been watching my videos without subscribing. I mean, come on, man. Do it. It helps the algorithm. It helps push out the content and the channel to the masses online. Um, those who wish to play bass or music better, or who just, I don't know, want to see me ramble, I guess. Anyway, so... Apologies for being MI, of course, um, but the good news is I'm pretty well recovered from my surgery. I have about 90% functionality of my hand, um, which means I can actually play the bass. Not fully yet, but it's also kind of why I wanted to talk about this particular lesson, right? So, chords on bass. I've done a few lessons in the past. I'm going to put the link to those videos right there. You can check it out. Um, but... You can probably check it out either before or after this video because what I'm going to talk about is so basic and rudimentary. So depending on where you're at with your chord playing, you know, do what you have to. So typically with chords, one of the things bass players love to do is play very big chords. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? So, for me, a chord is big when I use more than two notes. On the bass, at least. On the piano, of course, that's very subjective. On the guitar, that's subjective. So, what I wanted to talk about is two-note chords. It's very easy. Especially for us bass players, it's super easy. But it is not exactly what you think it is. Because a lot of you be like, oh yeah, I can do that. That's a 2 5 one, the key of C. Fair enough. But that is a one ten. Or a 1 3 up an octave, right? So D F G B C E. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take different reharmonizations of these two note voicings. What I mean by that, essentially a chord is one note and then you harmonize that note accordingly, depending on how you harmonize, you get different colors. Right? So, we're going to use a simple 2 5 1. So, D, G, C. Okay? So, for starters, we will do 1 10. D, G. And then for the second chord, we do G, F or 1 7. And then 1 10. So, you have that. And then, what I like to do is, I like to do this on inversions as well. So I go to the third of D minor and do a 110. That is basically the third of D. And then this is the five of D. And then reharmonize. So now what starts to happen is that you get very different sounds. So check this out. So I have D minor, G7, C major. And then I go up to the next inversion that I have available. So let me see. Um, A, D. That's for D minor. And then G, D. And then G, C. Okay. So. What's the point of practicing this? It really is to try to simplify the overall train of thought when you're trying to play chords on bass. So, when you do it this way, you are forced to hear inversions and you're actually forced to hear chords from a very different perspective. Because, let's take this first inversion for example. It will make a lot more sense if I did this. Where I'm giving you that third note to... Same thing here. I give you the middle note it's more more um, discernible right so what I want you to do is simple you establish this foundation just with this guy here okay and then I want you to introduce a third note to that 
और और आई कैन टेक दिस वॉइसिंग दैट एवरी वन नोज राइट और आई कैन डू समथिंग कूल लाइक stretch okay so i hope you get the gist of this the idea is take a 251 and then eventually expand into chord progressions you're going to use the root note right we bass players that's what we love to do that's what we're great at might as well use it so play the root note use different reharmonizations on top the third seventh sixth whatever you want to but start with the third and seventh because that's where it kind of cuz here it's like a third or tenth seventh third or tenth And then when you go to inversions you get different sounds so here is like um 10 9 10 okay i'm referring this in terms of the shape and then here this would be a 14 or 5 right so 11 let me see yeah 11 12 Yeah, eleven, twelve, eleven again to kind of wrap up. Okay, so mess around with this idea before you venture into all these kind of sounds. Eesh. I need to shed. Anyway, so I hope that helps you, and I hope that makes sense. All right, so if you dig this lesson. do drop a like yes that's the first time i think i've said it smash that like button okay that didn't work anyway i'm rambling so i'll see you guys in the shadow on the next one peace